Welcome to another Tuesday tip, guys. Uh, so this week, I wanted to talk to you about something that's a little more, you know, philosophical or, you know, mind space, head space, mindset, whatever you want to call it related. And that is, you know, framing everything that we do in the gym as being a practiced skill. Um, you know, just like anything in life, you can't expect to be good at something the first time that you do it. As nice as that would be, um, it doesn't happen that way. And so what I mean is specifically whenever you're looking at the gym, be kind to yourself whenever you're getting into, you know, like A, if you've been out of the gym for a long time, when you get back in the gym, if everything's feeling all fucking wonky and all over the place, like I said, it's a practiced skill. You know, you're not going to be as good as you once were. You will get back to where you were and surpass that eventually. But you got to be kind to yourself and you got to be realistic. Once you get to a more advanced level, and this is, you know, for all the, you know, bodybuilders or people that have been day in, day out in the gym, and, you know, they have gotten to the point where they can get really down on themselves or disappointed if they don't perform up to their expectations. I definitely fall into that camp. Um, you know, I'm a big progressive overload guy. I have my logbook. I track everything. It will legitimately ruin my day if I don't perform according to my standards. So um, that can especially show itself. And this is, you know, going back to the topic of this Tuesday tip, that the gym is a practiced skill. Um, for advanced guys, whenever we put new movements in, whenever we move to new splits, whenever we move to new diets, you know, whenever we change anything that we've been doing for a really long time, we're in our routine, it's going to take some time to get mentally and physically used to that. You know, when it comes to your training, um, just because you used to safety squat five plates for sets of 10, you know, a year ago before you took them out and put something else in, don't expect yourself to come back in the squat rack and everything feel normal and you be able to do exactly where you were and pick up where you left off. That's not how it works, you know, especially with more advanced movements like a squat or, you know, if any kind of free weight press, this, that, or another. It is a very practiced skill that takes a lot of proprioception and it takes a lot of, you know, like, like this neural connectivity and, you know, proprioception of the weight. So be kind to yourself when you're adjusting things like that. And then, you know, outside of the gym, um, and I know, I, say, I know I said that gym is a practice skill, but bodybuilding is a practice skill. So... Anytime that you experience, you know, shifts in your diet, you know, whether it be, you know, different amounts of food or you're really switching from a deficit to a surplus or vice versa, you know, keep in mind that, you know, you just spent, you know, five, six, seven, eight months eating in a surplus. And yeah, it's going to be mentally hard to feel hungry for a little bit. It's a practiced skill or, you know, vice versa. You just got done with a show and you're peeled and, you know, you're literally watching yourself put body fat on weekly. You know, it's supposed to happen. It's a practice skill. You need to get your head wrapped around it. So... At the end of the day, like I said, this one's a little bit more mindset related, but just keep in mind that everything that we do in the gym and that everything we do in bodybuilding is definitely a practiced skill. If you haven't done it in a while, don't expect yourself to be able to do it as good as you once did it. But like with all things, you keep your head down and keep on working at it. You will get back to where you were and then some. So if you enjoyed this Tuesday tip, be sure to subscribe and I will see you all next Tuesday.